people will tell you, the gurus out there will tell you that, hey, you only need $100 or $200 to get started. If you have just tested five to seven to eight products in about two months, then you're not testing enough. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jandy Cerezo and I'm an e-commerce owner. I've been doing that for the last five years and I have successfully scaled stores from six to seven to eight figures. Today, I'm going to be sharing a completely free course on how you can create your own long-term branded dropshipping store. Now, most courses that you see out there online, whether it's free or paid, will most likely just teach you the basics and it's all about just scaling a particular product for two months but that's not how you are going to make a living out of this if you want to quit your nine to five day job or quit the rat race then you are going to want to watch this video i will be starting the store from scratch all the nitty greedy stuff we are going to be covering that today and this is how I build my e-commerce stores and potentially turn it into a long-term branded store. Now, after I make this store, I'm going to be giving this away for free. And if you want to participate on that and join that and make sure you have a chance to winning this store, then go ahead and join our Discord group. I'm going to provide the link down below. And there are going to be a couple of requirements in there. It won't take long, less than five minutes requirements. Once you tick those off, you are going to be in the draw into winning this store i will be announcing the winner seven days after i launch this video also all the links and resources that i talk about today and discuss in this video will be provided in the free discord group as well i have a goal to make the best e-commerce dropshipping community discord group out so you make sure you join the group down below now let's start off with the common mistakes and also what we're going to be covering today the most common mistakes that we see out there is that people are teaching you the 2018 way which was like five years ago now that could still work but your chance to success is a lot less just because people such as cons consumers are starting to pick up all of the drop shipping stuff that's happening online and that's the first major mistake that i see the second major mistake is that you quit too early if you have just tested five to seven to eight products in about two months then you're not testing enough now i just want to reassure you guys that if you just keep a testing and also apply all the learnings and mistakes that you experienced in the past then you are going to be successful eventually so make sure you are always taking action and always learning so that you can implement and test new things and see what's gonna work for you another common mistake that i see is that people don't have the right capital now people will tell you the gurus out there will tell you that hey you only need hundred dollars or two hundred dollars to get started yes you do but that is probably only for about one product and you won't even be able to scale for that so i do suggest highly highly suggest that you have some sort of capital savings or ongoing income whether if it's part-time or full-time it doesn't matter as long as you are getting income i do recommend at least eight hundred dollars up to five thousand dollars if you want to scale really quickly now once you have all this sorted you can go ahead and watch this video what i'll be covering today first off is the mindset and how long-term drop shipping works step two will be product and supplier research step three is website building step four is creating your video creatives high converting video ads step five is creating campaigns on different platforms and finally step six is the fulfillment so, so don't forget to take notes uh, have your pen and paper out or maybe just a google docs because this is going to be a pretty long video and i want to assure you guys that this is probably going to be the best video that you watch out there in terms of creating a successful long-term branded drop shipping store now let's go ahead and jump on to step one step one is all about long-term branded drop shipping mindset so why do we do this because most gurus out there teaches you how to drop ship for a month or two months you might find a winning product quote unquote but that will only last you for about two weeks or a month and you're probably wondering okay why am i not able to create a proper business or proper brand out of my store when others have been running their stores for more than three to five years because they don't have the right 
mindset and foundations that I'm going to be covering today. So why do dropshippers fail? They're not thinking about long term. They think this is the easiest way to make money online. Now, it can be easy if you have the right foundations. But another thing why dropshippers fail is because they are being polluted by informations out there from other gurus. Make sure you just watch one or two or three gurus that you really trust and stick to those gurus because most likely if you watch like five to ten gurus you are going to experience what they call information overload so we don't want that now the third thing is what is long-term branded drop shipping store if you haven't watched my videos i've been running this one particular store which i started as drop shipping for five years now i am still doing hybrid drop shipping is what i call it which means i'm storing some goods and also still drop shipping and i have created an eight figure e-commerce store out of this which i'm planning to exit next year for a life changing amount of money so this this is what I want to teach you guys. I want to make sure that you guys understand this a bit. Stop thinking that you can get rich really quick with drop shipping. There is a potential of that, but you will lose money really quickly. But if you set the right foundations and also apply the right mindset and make sure that you have source of income to sustain your business, you are going to be able to create a branded drop shipping store. Now, if you're completely beginner or completely new, how does dropshipping work? It's quite simple. Then let me explain to you. Dropshipping is simply a fulfillment method. This is where you get your supplier to ship your products to your customer. So you're not putting anything up front. They are going to buy from your store. You're going to contact the supplier with the details from the orders that you got from your store. Send them to your supplier and the supplier will ship it to the to the customers now what i see frequently is that people are complaining about the shipping times whether that's consumers or yourself there are ways to shorten the shipping times which i will be touching on later on as well so don't forget drop shipping is just a fulfillment method it's always going to be there and it's never going to die now let's move on to step two which is product and supplier research so in this tip, there are winning product criteria. The first one is, is it brandable? Are you able to create a long-term brand out of this? Meaning, can you actually private label this product and people will keep buying this in the future and have that wow factor as well? The second thing is, does this have enough profit margin? What I typically like is to have at least $25 profit margin. So what that means is, for example, the cost of a product can be $10 and you can sell it up to 35 or more dollars. So that means the minimum profit margin that we like to see is at least $25. Now, those are the main product criteria that we're going to be looking at today. And as well as if there's enough content that we can use in the future when we start advertising. So we are going to be looking at two types of product research. We're going to do free one and a paid one as well. So we're going to start with the free one. What I like best is going through AliExpress because they have the best search engine right now. They are going to provide you with all of the drop shipping products out there that's being sold right now. And some of them you can see even on the homepage like and that these products can be drop shipped. So what you can do here is you can just keep scrolling down and see what, what might potentially fit our product research criteria. So this could potentially be one, right? We also want to look at products that have good reviews, at least 4.5 on AliExpress and also Amazon, which we are also going to look at. So that's one there. So this one looks pretty awesome as well. We're just gonna scroll down here. What we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna try look for a product that fits our criteria and create a, a branded store out of that as well. So I keep seeing this, so that's good reviews, right? So we are gonna be opening these. Okay. We're just going to keep scrolling down and see if there's any potential um, branded, brandable product that we can use in here. What we also want to look at is something that's unique. So that's something that people can't just buy from your local stores. 
So the free method does take a long time. So just be patient with it if you don't want to spend too much of your money. Okay. Just keep scrolling down. Quite like this one. Okay, so we've got plenty of products in here. Now you're gonna ask yourself, okay, what is the perceived value of this particular product? So for example, this one's just for a six dollars AUD, which is roughly about four three to four dollars USD, and that's actually not too bad. That's a low cost. Um, and you're going to start thinking about the angles that we're going to be uh, using for marketing and also our product page, right? So this looks like just your normal memory pillow. So we're going to close out of this because you can get this from local stores. Now, this one caught our eye and apparently it's just an earplug for sleeping. It's got that comfort angle to it which is pretty awesome we can definitely advertise this it's only a dollar but i i don't think the shipping would be bad the shipping is definitely going to be bad if uh you don't change it so make sure you you change this as well so let's say this is about six dollars now what is the perceived value of this particular product we may potentially be able to sell this for 25 dollars we can also say buy one get one free in order for us to reach that $25 profit margin. So this one's pretty awesome. And we're gonna keep that one. Again, this one's pretty similar to the last one. This one might be too expensive. It's not beginner friendly, but it does have that angle to it. And we do like the reviews. Again, this one, uh, it, it's, it's got the benefits to it, but I'm not sure if we are going to be able to brand this, right? And this one is good, good sign. We got 1,000 sold, 4.8 stars uh, reviews, which is what we like. It's got that wow factor to it. It's quite unique. I don't think you will be able to see this in your local stores, right? And it's got a good benefit as well. So we can definitely keep this one too. So the next thing that we are going to be covering is the paid method so let's see if we can find products in there and then we're going to hone in into one product that we really like that fits our criterias and and we're going to be creating a store out of it so the best paid method that i like to use is Minia, and i'm going to be providing a uh, an affiliate link for you guys so you guys can get discounts as well on our discord group so let's open that up so what I like to do in here is really quickly, you'll be able to find winning products in a few clicks, right? So if you just go under business plan, we got winning products in here, weekly winning products, growth sales in the last seven days. Ooh, I quite like this one. So we're going to open that. So we're already seeing some good products in here. So that's um, something that we can brand as well. We try to stay away from liquid or anything that's uh, like serums just because, you know, most of them are already branded and also it's hard to find suppliers for those um, for legal issues, especially the ingredients, right? So we want to make sure that we are finding products that can be viral, but at the same time, uh, people would love Right, so I'm gonna keep scrolling down in here. Okay. Oh, stamp kit, that looks quite nice. Right, so we got quite a few in here already. So we are going to um, check out the products that we picked. So in Minia, you can actually see what countries uh, these brands or dropshipping stores are targeting. For example, this one, um, they're mainly targeting USA, right? And you can also see their sales here. They're doing some decent sales. So what we like to see is people that have not scaled it past $10,000 per day. So that means that it's got potential that um, we can catch the wave and outmarket them in the future, right? So most of 
these you also get like uh, ad creatives for for them so you get the good ideas on how you can do your angles once we start creating creatives and it looks like they're advertising mainly on Pinterest which is pretty awesome right so next product and this one I, I I quite like right so it looks like um this store let's have a look they probably have branded this already or no it looks like it's just a uh, a branded drop shipping store which is what we're trying to build as well so we're gonna have a look at the sales so they are doing over ten thousand dollars per day so again we may be able to sell this but however we won't be able to scale it as much as we can because these guys are really doing well with their marketing but that doesn't rule out that hey this product is not good we can always test it on different markets and see if we can find different angles that they are not doing so we'll keep that one So this one looks like they're just targeting France, right? And they're doing about $1,000 per day. So again, this is a good sign. They're doing Facebook ads. And we can see their promotions in here. Go see product. Let's have a look at their product. Let this load up for a bit. Okay. So they have a nice, quite nice uh, landing page, it's quite clean. They're selling it for $62, which is quite a lot. Now this could be AUD, if I'm correct. But wow, $62, I'm sure if we go to AliExpress, You can get it for about seven AUD. So that's a huge profit margin. So again, this is something that we can definitely test. Uh, these kind of products, you also have to understand if what platform this might work well. So obviously this one will work well on TikTok just because it's female oriented and also uh, a bit younger audiences. But if you think um, the older generation might also like this, meaning 35 years old or up, we may be able to test it on Facebook as well. What I typically do is I actually test it on all platforms, which we'll be covering today. But in less than 15 minutes, we're already, uh, we already have a few potential winning products that we can test in here. So this one's pretty good. Electric cup is also good, right? Um, we got this uh, cervical neck shoulder and also um, anti-noise uh, silicone. So here, now we have to decide which products are we going to test out of this. Now we can potentially test all of them. However, in this case, in th for, for this particular video, we are only going to be testing one and you will get the chance to win this store once we have done it. So now we have to analyze even deeper if this particular product is going to be good for us. So let's let's say our winning product research criteria are they going to be able to be brandable? Do we have the enough market for this? And also, are people already scaling this? If so, how much? And if they are, then that, that's a red flag, right? It's, it's going to be hard for us to catch the wave because people are already selling this. And, and the third thing is what kind of creatives are we going to be able to come up with? Are there enough contents online that we can kind of have a look at and see if uh, we can copy those content? We are going to be doing that right now. But in, in this video, right? Let's say that uh, this one we're gonna have a look at uh, this a uh, particular product in here and see if it's already been branded right so eighty dollars body sculpt right so we're gonna search that body sculpt brush let's say But we can't actually find this particular product in here. Right? 
so it may look like it's a an original product that they have uh, provided so we're gonna exit out of this it is quite nice though so unfortunately um, we, we just can't find the right product unless Menia is gonna show us if uh, there's a particular product like this on AliExpress so we'll wait for that to load up this one again people are already scaling this so this particular brand is scaling this one but not to the extent that you know they're doing over ten thousand dollars per day so we'll keep that up you can also see the audience countries in here right this one's a no although i quite like it um they're doing 600k per month which is actually huge um they have scaled this for ten thousand dollars they have majority of uh, the market already so we're gonna close out of that and, and this one again we're gonna see if other people are already scaling this but it seems like it they are just based on um, the particular product itself so we can actually look on Minia if people are scaling this yeah people are already scaling this look at that right yeah so there are people scaling this already so we don't want to um, again uh, compete with these guys unless we can find unique angles okay and also if there's a way for us to cre create a different variant or buy one get one free or perhaps bundle different products together so we can potentially do that but again uh, for the sake of this video we are only going to be testing one so we're going to close out of that um, so so far we have the electric cupping massager and this one's out so we have these three now if you're only using the free method what I would uh, typically do is we are going to see if uh, this particular product is already getting scaled on uh, different platforms right so let's have a look we are gonna open up Facebook ads library right meta ad library and then we're gonna search this particular product hopefully we can find it um, this is a cervical pillow let's just have a look right so this is a free method if you just go to Facebook ads library on Google hey this is the product that we saw quite a bit quite a while ago that's a similar product in here right Hey, there's some potential um, products that we can actually test from here as well but what we're trying to find is the, this particular uh, product in here such pillow Shopify so we're gonna copy and paste that again we're gonna see if um, people are scaling this already right we just have a look at other competitors as well we can go to Minia to check this out um, and we'll go to Facebook ads let's see if we can uh, cervical neck all right so we found a product in here go sort this by likes By awesome right so there's different variants in here all right so this is a bit too much right so people are scaling this product already so we don't want to compete again we don't want to compete with those so we're gonna close out of this one now we are stuck with a two particular um, product that we have at the moment um, so we can have a look at this one right see if first we can find it on Facebook um, that's a good sign that people are not scaling it anti-noise earplugs there's not many people that are scaling 
uh, this product or running ads on this product as well. That could be a good or bad thing. But first, we're going to see on Amazon if uh, it's actually getting sold because that's going to indicate that there's demand to it. Okay. Right. So there's anti-noise earplugs in here. That's a good sign, right? 17,000 reviews, but not many people are testing it. So I quite like this one. There's not many people that are um, testing it online. This could potentially go viral for us. So now, what we came up with was the electric cupping massager, right? Um, so either this one or anti-noise um, earplug. So they're, they're both really good. Now for this one, the main product differentiation that we can do is bundles because it's it costs really it doesn't cost that much um, to bundle it with and you can already imagine that they might give it to their spouses as well so this could potentially be really good now with the electric cup massager this is being scaled slightly being scaled already there's good um contents already in this case i would most likely test this uh cup massager over the anti-noise but most of you guys are just starting off so and you guys are using the free method so we are going to be choosing the anti-noise silicon um, earplugs we can potentially scale this because there is definitely a niche for this now you're gonna have to understand what is the unique selling point of this um, particular product in here. So we have found a supplier here that's really good, right? We we quite like um, the variants in here as well, this type of product. And there's some good uh, images in here that we can definitely use. So we've done competitor research and also Amazon research. Now we are gonna create angles and unique selling points, right? So, all right, so the next thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to start planning our product page, our angles, marketing, and all of that stuff. So in order for us to do that is first, we are gonna go to um, my Discord here. We are gonna get the free um, ad planning template and also angles angle templates. So what's gonna happen now is that it's gonna come up with uh, this, right? So the thing that we are going to be doing here is we have to analyze the different kinds of benefits that this product consists. And there are a couple ways to, to do that. First of all, you can have a look at uh, your competitor's page or Amazon uh, product page. But uh, the best thing that I, look, I like to look at uh, are the reviews from suppliers or Amazon. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a link that I use uh, to quickly scrape uh, the best benefits that you can get out of a product. And it's called the Review Index. So what you're going to do is uh, go to thereviewindex.com. We're going to copy, uh, open up a link in here. So let's open up a couple in here, right? And then we're going to copy that. We'll go to Amazon Review Index, paste the link, and then gonna start scraping some data. At the same time, we can also start uh, um, planning our angles. And again, with the template that we have created, so this is just an example here. Um, we got hooks in here, we got solutions, benefits. Um, the main important thing is filling these up the solutions and the main benefits so we are gonna try come up with those so let's just remove these and down later down the line we are gonna be covering the uh, the video aspect which is all the clips and the hooks and um, we're gonna be implementing all the benefits that we come up with today okay so it's still uh, doing its thing at the same time we can always like um, have a look at uh, the main benefits in here so we can already see that noise reduction um, easy to use stylish um, so if we just scroll down more should be able to so i like that one right vibe out at that your volume right so that's pretty awesome uh, reduce triggering noises and calm your anxiety so that's pretty cool 
We can also use it for focus and productivity. So now uh, we have to ask ourselves, what kind of angles are we going to be focusing on? Because sometimes a product can have multiple angles. The most important thing is to have a primary angle so we definitely know who we're targeting and also uh, what kind of uh, customers and demographics we are going to be targeting later down the line. So right now, um, what I can see from here from just reading this and from also looking at is some of the uh, product images is that the angle for this is mainly for sleeping, right? anti-snoring so that's a big angle right there so i give you guys an example that this one is talking about um they have different angles such as you know removing noises from you know from music and events and also for focusing so that's good angles as well however the main one that we like to touch for this particular product especially when we market it is going to be um anti anti noise when they are sleeping so um we're going to be focusing on that so that's already done right from review in index so let's see let's have a look at the review analysis so here we got earplugs right uh comfort so that's probably the main um concepts that uh sorry the main reviews that we are getting is about comfort so for example here Quiets are more comfy to wear, uh, have very sensitive ears. So those are good, uh, freaking really good uh, reviews, right? Game changer, noise level diminishes significantly. So these are all good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our ad planning sheet. And uh, the solution is anti-snoring. Uh, removes completely so no noise now we are going to be expanding on this later on we are just um, summarizing all of the main pain points and also main benefits of this particular product so let's have a look at um, some more stuff so we got comfort in here right so we got uh, comfort we can also provide some examples in here um, So the noise level once these are in diminishes significantly overall very comfortable right so we are gonna put that in here so what i like to do sometimes is um i want to add a note okay so this is a review because we really like that review that review is really good right um comfortable in the ear okay and then let's continue amazing fit uh we already got the sound part in here the size i guess we can talk about the design and the size aesthetic fits all sizes of ears so this is really good right fits all sizes of ears small or big awesome now um we need another benefit we, li we like to have at least four benefits in here so what we're going to be doing next is um we can also go ahead and open up different amazon links and see if we can come up with another benefit in here so we'll just scroll down here uh This is really good. I'm a better mom thanks to these. They're super comfortable and all, and I can still hear my kids without the angry gut response to snap at them when they scream. They're usually playing and it's totally fine. I, I just can't keep my cool. So this is really good as well. So multi-purpose, I would say, is another benefit because you won't just be using it for sleep. You can also use it for uh, noisy environments, right? Not just for sleep but also for noisy environments awesome so these are really really good benefits already right so um we are going to be utilizing these uh we're also going to keep the tabs open for the review index because we are going to be using that for our um our shopify right
Now it's the fun part. We are going to be starting to build our website and you guys can use my Shopify signup link because it's gonna allow you to pretty much um, start your store for free for the next three days and only pay one dollar for the next three months that is insane compared to your normal plan on Shopify which is about forty dollars so don't forget to uh, use my link on my discord so you can go ahead and go in here click free Shopify store and then um, you pretty much just have to copy this or click this right so that's what we are gonna be doing so we are gonna paste that start free trial okay um, here on Shopify we're just gonna have to be following these um, uh, so okay now we just gonna have to go through this let's get which this these best describes you I'm just starting next um, an online store drop shipping products and then we are gonna continue with email feel free to use any of the emails that you have but for this because I'm gonna be transferring this to a potential winner and giving away this store for free so I'm gonna be creating um, a unique email for that person so I successfully created an email on Gmail. Again, you can use any email that you have. So it's called Ecom Action Takers. All right, so now that we have finally signed up using our email, it's gonna start creating our store. And this is where the fun starts. Pretty much we're gonna be designing our store now and pretty much show you guys on how you can start uh, a high converting landing page for free using free themes as well. So here, um, your trial just started, your trial ends on you know pretty much the next three days and then you just have to pay one dollar for the next three months again the normal plan is about 39 dollars per month so if you want to use my link below um, it's on the discord as well so the first thing we are going to be doing here is first of all we have to come up with a brand name for this particular uh, product so what i typically do is try to think of um, brand names that uh, goes with this particular product in here so we can actually ask uh, chat GPT for that so we're gonna be jumping on to chat GPT uh, if you don't know what that is it's pretty much an AI that helps you uh, create copies right um, you pretty much just have to ask it questions but I'm pretty sure most of you guys know chat GPT already so right now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use that properly to the max in order for you guys to create a high converting landing page so here we're just going to open up chat.openai.com it's going to ask me to um i've just signed up using the emails that we used before so i'm just going to do the date today and then a random year 2000 um i will be verifying my phone number now we're just signing up on chat gpt uh the first thing we're gonna be asking is this is my product here my product here can you create a catchy brand name okay let's see if there's anything that might um be quite nice for us main focus is anti-snoring ooh I quite like this right snore shield silence slumber snore away I think snore shield is quite nice so we can definitely use this right snow shield earplugs so we are gonna be checking now now in order for us to check if there's a domain for this you know a domain is um, the for example snow shield dot what a domain is so we can actually go on Shopify and check that so we go buy a new domain uh, we're just gonna go snow shield.com it's unavailable so we might need to look for another one so let's see if we can find another one in here uh, we can say friendlier um, 
give examples of friendlier brand names, right? There we go. Snuggle plugs. I quite like that one. Okay, let's try snuggle plugs. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to be buying this. It is $15. So that's pretty much our first actual cost of this video. And then we are going to be I'm going to be adding the address in here and also the payment method. So uh, I'm going to be skipping this part because I, obviously I don't want you guys uh, seeing all of uh, all of this. Um, so feel free to put the address and payment methods in here and then we're going to be moving on to the next step so you so came up with this so um we're, we're just, just going to be editing the store information again um we're, we're going to be i'm going to be skipping this part as there are sensitive information in here uh however uh, if you just click this feel free to um uh, enter your own information in here All right, so now that we have bought the domain, uh, what we're going to be doing next is to make sure that we uh, set uh, the brand domain name as the primary domain because right now it's what the Shopify is at the moment. So we are going to be setting this one up. Click that one and then change the domain type and make this primary domain. So we're making the www.snuggleplugs.com as the primary domain, change the domain type. We're also going to be verifying the email shortly. Actually, while we do that, we can do that right now. Okay, make sure that's approved. Awesome, that's now the primary domain. can pretty, pretty much, much verify the information. So, so right now, uh, what, what we can do is uh, add the product. And, and to do that, we just click add product. And then we are going to name it um, Snuggle Plug Anti Noise Anti Noise. anti-reduction noise so in here um what i typically do and what uh, other drop shippers don't do is they don't put the actual benefit or solution of the product on the product name and i like to do this because it's one of the uh, key things that they are going to be seeing once they land in the page so again we are trying to hit their emotions and to do that um, the first thing they're gonna see when they land on your page is this big product title put the main benefits inside that uh, product title so for here snuggle plug anti noise solution right and then we're gonna save that okay we are gonna be doing description later on um, we're gonna untick the charge tax on this product um, and then we are gonna decide how much are we gonna be selling this product for so what I like to do here is since we're getting it for about um, five dollars so about six for six dollars um, Australian dollars so that's about four US dollars what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a buy one get one free offer be just because it's on a lower side uh, typically something like these um, is something that's really light and can be packed together if they buy two pieces you only have to add 60 cents or a dollar right so that's what we're going to be doing right now we have to decide what is the perceived value of this particular product so i i can imagine this product being at least uh between 12 dollars to 15 dollars a pair you can also have a look at um, um, Amazon and see how much they are selling that for so for example this one they're selling it for $35 which is pretty high and we don't want to go too too much that high so we still try to stick with our rule of at least $25 profit margin um, and what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna price it at $29.99 compare price 
this is what uh, they see as a sale price so we are going to be doing uh, 49.99 so that uh, comes to about 40 percent off and then the cost per item will be about a uh, dollar twenty so uh, sixty cents times two is a dollar twenty plus shipping so five dollars so let's just say a seven dollars as for our cost per item now it's not um exactly over twenty five dollars but it's close enough it's got the perceived value um it's also got that uh, buy one get one free uh option and that's how you're gonna differentiate yourselves from other com um, other competitors right and other drop shippers because they're not doing these kind of differentiation so and everyone's just doing the same offer same products same uh marketing angles and that's not how you're gonna out market them in the future so i'm teaching you guys the way uh to create a branded long-term drop shipping store so we don't want to track quantity here um we are going to be scrolling down and then uh, to create the buy one get one free offer we can actually um do that through discount so we're going to be saving this first but before we do that i like to have at least one photo because once we start editing the website we want to have like a a, a guideline so here um Let's have a look at the nice photo. So that's quite nice, right? We're just gonna copy image address, add from URL, add file. Awesome, so we're gonna be saving this. This is our first uh, product. Congratulations, you've added your first product, right? So now we are gonna be jumping onto online store and this is where we are going to be editing the website. So here an online store, it might take a while for you guys to uh, get used to this, um, but if you follow this guide, it's gonna I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. Um, there are themes that I like to use, but for now, uh, we are gonna be using the Dawn theme. But before we do that, we should probably create the uh, the logo for this one first, right? So we are gonna be going to Canva.com. We are gonna be signing up here, right? Uh, it does cost um, the pro version is about uh, twenty dollars per month, but um, as far as I know, there is a free trial that we can utilize. Small business, um, great team. Maybe later. Uh, skip. Awesome. So here um, we're using the free version. Create design, custom size. We're gonna go five hundred to five hundred. Create new design. So let's try come up with a concept of um, something that relates to our products and also start thinking about the colors. So here, what I like to do is going to coolers.co. So, so coolers.co will allow you to create your own uh, palettes of brand colors. So this is really important. Again, you will see quite often that dropshippers are using multiple, multiple colors and that just screams out that this is a scam, right? Ideally, you want to keep your colors uh, less than three, the main colors, right? Excluding black and white. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting the generator here. This is a free uh, product, by the way. So um, with this one, we can also uh, delete the other two in here. Actually, we can make black make this black we can make this white right and then what i want is actually like a blue color um that that just signifies uh relates to you know comfortable sleeping um and really just think about okay what kind of uh colors would go with my product or my niche so we we are gonna go with blue right and then so i like to have this as primary color and also the secondary color is going to be blue however it's going to be a lot a lot darker now the uh, third color is usually really different to your main colors because this is going to be your add to cart button color or um something that really pops out so uh we can do pretty much uh like yellow in here or orange that's what I typically like to have for my um, 
a third color so this is your main colors right so we have three main colors in here two very similar ones and one um, really different to our primary color and then we have black and white which is pretty much your uh, main background of your website and also black for text so here we are just gonna copy the um, the URL because um, and you're gonna be saving this you're gonna be bookmarking this so that you can access this anytime so I'm gonna put this on my other screen right now so while we edit this and then we are gonna be going to text right snuggle plug so let's try to come up with uh, different concepts so we're just gonna add a heading and let's go snuggle plug we don't want to put too much emphasis on um, our logo but at least try make it uh, similar to your your niche something that that relates to your niche we can always change this in the future once we have validated the product but for now to save us time let's try to come up with a concept in here so what I'm gonna be doing is let's try look for different um, different fonts in here okay that's quite nice that's not bad something that's readable that actually looks quite nice that kind of has that um sleepy feeling to it if you know what i mean so here um and to make this a tiny bit prettier we're going to change the color of this part remember I copied it from our coolers.co just copy that hex code right here and then pasted it here on um, our canva uh, font right so that's looking a lot nicer already now we can actually play around with the elements in here maybe we can put like ear or something like that or ear sleeping let's see if there's something that comes uh, into our mind ear plug maybe unfortunately these are pro so we're not going to be paying for this but for now i think we can get away with this so what we can also add in here is a tm trademark um something that's free just to keep it simple right okay just move that out of the way and then we're gonna put that in here right so that's looking like you know a simple uh, theme already so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be duplicating this um, I like to do this because this allows you to have a eye popping social media um, profile photo um, so here we are gonna be copying the same color as our primary color so it's already here and then we are gonna make this white right and that looks like um, something that we can add into our social media because uh, if we just keep it as this it's gonna have that white background in it in there and the primary photo of your social media is usually on a circle um, and you want it to be as eye popping as possible so that's why we created two so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be downloading this the first one we are going to be do downloading um, snuggle plug and then and these two pages PNG click download awesome that's our first download in here right so now um, we're gonna be saving that into a folder so now that's been saved we're gonna zip out of it zip that out and then go back to our Shopify store go to online store themes and then click customize so now again this is where the fun part begins we have our colors we have our logo we can pretty much get started we are going to be using the dawn theme this is free right dawn and this is the default theme so here uh, we're going to click header and then um, we are going to be doing desktop logo position top center I like to have top center oh sorry middle center always um, it just makes it look a lot more aesthetic edit your logo in theme settings so click that one we're gonna go select image 
we are going to be dragging our um, image in here but what what are we gonna what we're gonna do first is we're gonna open our um, main image and we're gonna crop it right so we don't want these extra spaces in here so just open it with your paint 3d or uh, normal paint and then just save that awesome and then we're gonna drag uh, that logo that we just cropped in here it's loading now Okay, we'll just wait for that to load up. Hopefully that loads up shortly. Awesome. So now we're going to make that a lot bigger because it's looking a lot too small. Okay, make it a tiny bit bigger. 250. Great. So that's looking a lot better already just with one logo so the next step is we are going to be editing the home page so this is the home page in here so if they type in snuggleplug.com this is what the home page is going to look like at the moment and we don't want that so uh we're going to be explore we don't want to be focusing too much on the home page by the way because uh, the main thing that we're going to be focusing on is Fo focusing on is the product page the reason for that is because we are driving traffic to that so um, again don't put too much time or effort into your home page not many people will look at the home page but um, we'll still we'll still try to make it look prettier we are just gonna create a free images in here let's say sleep something it's something about sleep right great so that's not too bad and then we're just going to be changing browse our latest products we don't want that snuggle plug number one solution to um to best to no sleep noisy sleeping environment right Let's try to come up with that um, and then click buttons we got shop now so I click buttons in here we are gonna link it to our product and then we are gonna hit save in there so that's that you can also change this uh, to mobile and see what it looks like so that doesn't look too bad right um, now the next step is we're gonna be changing the announcement bar so we click on that and what I like to do is free shipping and 50 percent off today as um, the announcement bar and then we're gonna change the colors in here so in order for us to do that is we go to theme settings and then we go colors so remember all of the colors that we saved from uh, coolers.co so we are gonna be changing that and so first what we like to do is accent 2 as the primary color awesome and then uh, we're gonna go background one is the same as accent two okay oh sorry no we'll keep background one white and then background two as the secondary color okay we got background two as secondary color in here we also want accent one to be the primary color and then accent two to be the third color so we got the orange one so this is what it's gonna be like okay awesome so now we're gonna change the announcement bar because we want this to pop out a little bit so we can change the color scheme in here um, play around with it and see what you can come up with 
right we quite I quite like that black and white for for the announcement bar click save again make sure that we're saving our work um, this is not too bad already so this is the home page again we don't ha want to um, add too much uh, stuff in our home page we can uh, make it a little bit prettier so in order for us to do that we can just add um, image with text in here we can drag this up to just under the image banner in here uh, we can add our images in there okay and we can remove this uh, feature product so click remove sorry remove that section so now um we'll click this one snuggle plug 50 percent off today and then we're gonna edit the text so here this is where chat gpt comes along um what we can do is now we can go new chat i have a brand called snuggle plug and the product is an earplug to reduce noise that is perfect for sleeping okay we can also add our benefits in here so if we open up our um, angles before right no noise um, comfortable in the ear comfortable in the ear fits all sizes small or big right so here uh, we like to set our prompt in here can you please create a one paragraph product description targeting people who can't sleep make it salesy right the ultimate solution for this this is nice um, make it shorter it's a bit too long for us awesome right we're gonna copy that that looks pretty good to us experience tranquility and uninterrupted sleep comfortable adjustable perfect for all sizes perfect perfect that sounds really good already so we're gonna paste that in here right and then click save again we're gonna say get yours here and then link that but that particular uh, button into our product and then boom that is our home page done now we are going to be editing our product page which is the most important part of um this website building so we click that so we went product page default product so this is what it looks like at the moment um we're going to add sections in here uh, the first thing is um, we are going to be adding rich text in here. Okay. And then remove the buttons. I will be explaining all of this later on. We're going to need to add another um, add section in here to image with text. Okay. And then we are going to add a another rich text in here awesome so that is looking really really solid already uh, the next thing we want to do is we're going to add multi column right um, put that above the rich text okay okay and then click this second one um click the second image with text so here we are gonna go image second so it's alter alternate and this is pretty much our um guidelines to to create a uh a high converting landing page and this is what most of my product page would look like what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be moving up in here under product information and this is where you're going to pretty much focus your uh, attention on is at the top of the fold and what i mean by that is whenever someone lands on your page 
what is the first thing they're going to be seeing at the top of the fold, right? So the first screen that they are going to be seeing. Always, always check mobile as well and make sure that it's mobile optimized because a lot of people are on mobile these days. So uh, we can also edit our store through mobile, right? But for now, we're going to keep it on desktop just to make it easier for us. But we are going to be checking mobile version as well. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we want to add block in here. We're going to add text. Um, sorry, we are going to add collapsible row. We're going to add about three collapsible row. Okay, this is what I typically do, right? And here with the collapsible row, we're going to disable share in here. Um, Click the first collapsible row in here, and then we're gonna call this why snuggle plug is unique. Okay, and then we can um, pretty much look at, change the icon in here. Let's change it to the heart, right? So here the row content is what um, it's gonna look like inside the uh, collapsible row. Um, and we're gonna get chat GPT in here. So keep this one on. So here um, We can again copy this and paste that in here. Make sure that's capital and The ultimate solution for sleepless nights. So that's why it's unique, right? So Easy the second thing we're gonna be doing is cl another collapsible row. Uh, we're gonna say shipping and delivery um, and we're gonna be uh, fixing that later on. Change the icon to plain, and then uh, this third one in here. We are going to do um, our sixty night trial guarantee, right? So here we're just gonna say um, enjoy our snuggle plug for 16 nights worry free or your money back contact us at support at snuggleplug.com we are going to be creating our own uh, domain email later on but that's what we're going to put under our 16 night trial guarantee right we got shipping and delivery we will be creating a page for this already. So now the next step that we are going to be doing is we're going to be removing. Um, so if you click this buy button, show dynamic checkout buttons. Awesome. Right. And then we are going to be scrolling down. And now um, we are going to add another block in here. So what I typically do here, so here, uh, we're going to be adding the custom liquid in here. Uh, you just click add block custom liquid and at the bottom. So we are going to be adding a GIF in here and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. A GIF or a photo, um, of someone using it. So that's something we like to see. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is we are going to open up Ali. Express and let's try look for someone that is using the product already maybe product image so that's quite nice right so yeah we can pretty much copy this one so click inspect and then once you click inspect you can actually copy this right copy element go back to our page custom liquid paste the element in here and hopefully that pastes right so now we can actually edit that so we are going to go image height uh, we can actually say uh, five let's say 300 so just copy that width is going to be 200 and there we go uh, we can play around with this so if we want to make it a look um, a lot bigger so we're going to go 300 400 in here 
Awesome, so that looks pretty awesome already. So we're gonna go click save. Um, this is pretty much almost done. We're gonna be creating a um, product description shortly. So now we're gonna be um, moving on to the next section here. What I like to do is to have a different color, maybe accent two in here, right? Or maybe even background two. Yep, background two, maybe background one, accent one. Oh, accent one looks quite nice. So here, let's do accent one. Okay, talk about your brand. So what we're gonna be putting here is a testimonial. This is what we're gonna be uh, adding in here. What we like to have on our product page, different types of testimonials. And to do that, um, we can go to Amazon and look for um, some good uh, testimonials in here. We can go back to our review index and get some testimonials in here as well. Okay, so we're gonna copy this one. I quite like this, um, uh, this review here. Go back to our brand in here. Put some apostrophe in here. These uh, earplugs snuggle earplugs have been a game changer here we're gonna put the actual review copy that and then I'll show you guys how I do this um, change the loop to snuggle earplug and then here at the end, we're gonna put the uh, reviewer's name. So you can just come up with any uh, reviewer name in here. So we're just gonna go Andrew J dot and put USA in here. And then we're gonna put this in on bold. So you can either control B or click that. So that's looking quite nice already. So if we just go to mobile, make sure that everything looks good. That looks good right so everything is looking quite nice and looking like it's a brand so now we're going to be editing these right so we can just grab photos from our suppliers um we're going to save images right I quite like that one awesome so we got two images in here already so here uh, we're gonna put the first image that we copied which is pretty much we'll add another we'll add both of the images that we copied already awesome so we got that one Double noise reduction, comfortable to wear. Another one in here. So here, uh, one size fits all, right? And we can go back to chat GPT and we can say, can you create a description, a short description and benefits on how our product is a one size fits all. Kind of doesn't make sense, but ChatGPT will allow us to um, play around with that. So, provides a comfortable, secure fit from small to big. Damn, that is awesome. That is a really good description. Here again, I'm gonna paste that. Um, so I'm gonna remove this one actually. Just make it a tiny bit shorter, right? And then snuggle plug. Enjoy the benefit. Okay. In here, noise reduction. So we just copied the one that we deleted in here. Noise reduction guaranteed, right? And then we're gonna go to text, paste the ones that we one that we deleted in here. 
we're gonna remove at uh, the bottom so untick that one and tick that one as well so that is looking quite nice already and then we just want to scroll down in here it's really important we're going to be putting testimonials in here um and what i like to put in here over uh, 1200 plus happy customers right and under columns we're going to put pictures in here as well and the authors and all of that stuff so uh, to do that first thing we're gonna do is actually remove the button we don't want the button so um, remove that here okay let's have a look at reviews go back to our um, we're gonna add this one so we're gonna save this one as image right and look for another reviews in here we can actually do photos only and then we like to see reviews with um, someone using it ideally or something like this it's quite clean so we just save that again hopefully we can find more This one's quite nice. Review three. So just try to get as many um, reviews as possible. Uh, the reason for that is because um, we're gonna be choosing later on which ones are the best. We only need three reviews, pretty much. I'm trying to look for someone that is wearing this product. If I can't find any, that's no problem. It's just a selfie. Okay, let's try to look for one more. Okay, seems like those are all the photos that we can find that are quite decent. So here we are going to upload all the reviews that we um, we added, the three reviews that we added, right? Let me click image one, and then here image two and then finally image three great awesome for this one um i like to have uh the review index again we're gonna go read all comments Oh, I love that review, love that review. So go back in here, super comfortable. While sleeping or for focusing. So the review that we, let's change that to eight hours. And then we're gonna say again, same thing. Um, the author would be, uh can just go to amazon chloe let's just call her chloe m and that's done for that one and we're going to be doing the same thing for the other ones as well um go back to review index okay copy that zero discomfort perfect for uh, festivals okay um, go back to Amazon look for a name in here Danny Danny L and then another one here so here um, we can ask chat GPT as well come up with a review um focusing on the benefits short review see this is really good right make it shorter it's a bit too long for us perfect this full sleep Um, 
spelled that wrong. Awesome. So that is pretty much done. So here uh, we can also have a look at mobile and make sure that everything looks good. That uh, looks pretty juicy to me. Um, so that is looking like a perfect brand already. So for this one, what I like to do is we are going to be making this a um, inverse. So that's going to be the black color. So here I like to say 60 night free trial right and then we just gonna copy the ones that we created in here all right so that is looking pretty solid already and that is our product page almost done we're just gonna add um, a product description in here and to do that we go back to our admin click products and in here so here um what i like to to have is to um ask chat, chat gpt please create a one sentence and four bullet points focusing four short bullet points short bullet points focusing on the benefits and pain points so let's see what he comes up with Snuggle plug the ultimate sleep show offers comfortable. Okay, so that one we're gonna copy, put that in here. We're gonna put, um, we're gonna change this to one size fits all and to eliminate noise and sure. Tag the main points in here, right? So in here, um, we're gonna copy this. Make, sorry, we're just gonna say make each bullet points less than 20 words. Perfect, perfect, right? So we're gonna copy that. And then we are going to paste that in here and then click save on this bad boy. So awesome. Now we're just going to add some um, photos in here. So we kind of don't like the photos that they have here on um, AliExpress. We're actually also going to be adding some colors in here, right? So there are different colors in here. So there's two variants in here. Um, we're just gonna be the two, gonna be doing the two layers one. So there's black, gray, army green, blue, and yellow. Okay, so let's add those variants in here. So let's do color, black, gray, green, blue, and yellow. That's done. And then we're going to be saving. We don't want that one. We want something that's, this one's quite, it's not too bad, but ideally not. Um, we'll put it as image two. So we'll save that one. Image three in here. So we've got plenty of photos in here already. So we're just going to be adding those. And then at the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to try copy the colors in here. So here we're just going to inspect. If you can't copy the images um, from AliExpress, we go do that. And then copy this link in here. Control C. Go in here. Add from URL. Add file. So we got yellow in there. Let's get blue again. So click this button in here. I like that. Copy this JPEG file here. Add from URL. And we're going to do the same thing for the other ones too.
Perfect, perfect. Now we're gonna assign those variants into their respective colors. Green, blue, yellow. Awesome. And then we're gonna hit save. So now we can pretty much preview this. Right? We can click green, blue, yellow right that is looking really nice already guys so now there's another hack that i like to do in here so under vendor we are going to put number one solution to um no sleep right the reason why we do that is that when we refresh that, it's gonna come up with here. Again, this is at the top of the fold. So this is one of the hacks that I do uh, to create a high converting landing page. So this is looking pretty nice already. Gotta fix all the, um, since this is not available. So we can quickly fix that. So let's so go edit, remove the track quantity, and we should pretty much be done. So we want this one to be actually this color here. Okay, um, we want to make this um, main image. So here I put the first variant as the main image. So that's the first thing they're gonna see. What I like to do is we're gonna download this and edit this on Canva. So we're gonna go home create a design custom size we're gonna go 1000 to 1000 and then we're gonna put canva so here uh, we're just gonna do some light editing go to we can always go to Google and try get one um, so buy one get one free transparent icon so this is quite nice although it's not really transparent so we're gonna try look for a transparent one um, if we can find one Okay, this one's transparent. So here we're gonna save this right And then what we're gonna do next is go back to our so we're gonna go to Canva upload files Go buy one get one free right drag that in there make that a bit smaller and we're gonna put that in here so this is gonna be our main image make sure that's on JPEG and hit download okay we're gonna go back to snuggle plug add again we're gonna delete this one don't need that anymore drag that at the start change black and done and then save and then from there on, if we click preview, that is a nice landing page, right? Now we, we are going to add some, um, we don't need to actually add apps because we already have testimonials in here. Now we're going to check our um, funnels. All right, to fix the funnel, we're going to go back here into our theme. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our add to cart is a drawer so what that means right now if we click add to cart it comes up with this pop-up here we don't want that we want a drawer that's sliding in when they add to cart so to do that we go theme settings and then under cart um, we're gonna go drawer so now what that is going to look like if we click add to cart it should start drawing from the side so awesome so that's looking pretty solid already now we want to um, check out and see if there's anything that we need to change here so this is what the ch checkout looks like uh, we do need to change the logo in here so go to theme settings here scroll down under checkout and then we're gonna go click logo select image and let's look for our logo here awesome so that's looking pretty nice already so we're just gonna hit save um, everything is looking 
nice and sweet in here we don't need to change anything here uh, that's pretty much all sorted so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna fix the checkout in the settings in Shopify so if we want to exit out of here click settings and then check out so here it's it's very important that we change these settings right so we ignore these part um, we know we're gonna go require first and last name and then scroll down a bit we don't need to include option uh, address line 2 this one's really important uh, we're gonna click optional for that and then everything else we leave as is and then we're gonna click save so that should fix our uh, checkout so right now we still have our password protected if you go to snuggleplugs.com this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna say opening soon we pretty much don't have anything in here um, because it's not active yet even though we have edited the theme and to unlock it so we go back here uh, we're gonna pick a plan now again if you want to use um, our uh, affiliate link with Shopify you can get $1 USD for the next three months um, you can just choose the basic for now until we start scaling the store uh, this is normally about $29 per month so make sure you um, choose our Shopify uh, affiliate link to get that $1 deal so we're gonna choose basic awesome so that should pretty much be good no thanks uh, we can just close out of that so now we're gonna remove the password and online store is open to everyone so if we click view store now people can actually see our site so we got snuggleplugs.com in here um, we can fix that up shortly now the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna fix our menus so we don't have any menus at the top and menus at the bottom so to do that we're gonna go customize under the theme I'm gonna put a picture in here so it looks pretty legit okay we got get yours here so that's looking nice already now we're gonna fix the menu sys uh, menu and also the footer so right now we have home catalog and contact right so in order for us to do that is first of all we are going to go to footer here add section add block so we got menu and then we're gonna hit footer menu in here and we're gonna click save exit out of this go to navigation First of all, we're gonna fix the main menu. Here, we're gonna edit. We're gonna say uh, snuggle plug. Click X. We're gonna link our product snuggle plug in here. Apply changes, and then um, add menu item. We're gonna put uh, shipping and delivery here. Pages. Um, actually, that's contact. So that's pretty much uh, done for now. We're gonna go to pages and then start adding uh, important pages in here so first of all we're gonna add page the first one is shipping and delivery all right so for the shipping and delivery we're just gonna go to kenkoback.com so they're all pretty much uh, the same so we're just gonna copy these and change some of the uh, information in there and then we're gonna go support snuggle plugs dot com I'm gonna copy this email okay paste that make sure that everything looks good there support paste in there cool so that's done uh, the next two pages that we are gonna be creating this is really important because once you start advertising the advertising platform actually checks these pages and make sure that they are um, available on uh, on your site so we're gonna click add page the next thing is privacy and policy again you can look up any uh, drop shipping store that you have encountered and you can just copy their privacy and policy 
Uh, in this case, we can go privacy statement in here. Um, we're just going to go copy this. Support at snuggleplugs.com. Then we're going to go snuggle plug. Snuggle plug. And then that's pretty much it. Yep, and then hit save. And then we have a couple more to do. So we're gonna go back, add page. Now we are going to do returns and refunds. That's very important. So just go back in here, go returns. Again, copy this. Snuggle plugs, copy, paste. Make sure you're changing these, very important. Snuggle plugs, paste the email in there. Awesome. All right, so we have created the three most important uh, pages so now we go back to navigation we're gonna fix our main menu go back to uh, main menu here we're gonna put shipping and delivery here pages click add and save menu go back we're gonna fix the footer menu we're gonna add all the pages that we created so we got contact a privacy and policy Returns and refunds. Again, very important that you guys include this on your website because the advertising platform won't let you advertise if they don't see all of these on uh, your store. So we go to online store, click customize, and then we just have to make sure that everything is in here. If we click header, awesome. And then once we go footer, we have all of those available. Perfect. So we are pretty much done with our website so if we just hit products in here we just want to make sure that everything looks clean here great perfect perfect so we're gonna hit add to cart again double check that everything is sorted click check out perfect boom we got phone in here Awesome, awesome. What you're gonna be doing here is you can actually go through your funnel and make sure that everything is correct. So now that we have checked pretty much everything, there is one more step that we have to do is fix our shipping and delivery. And then you're gonna delete pretty much everything that's in here. Delete, delete, create zone. Uh, we're gonna click international, include Australia in there. Now we're gonna go free shipping nationwide. Okay, we're gonna copy that. Click done. Add rate. Paste that in here. And then click done. So once that's done, it says here customers in 27 regions won't be able to check out because they're in inactive market. So we want to activate those. So we wanna click go to markets. Click active and save double check markets okay so we got activated now uh, we got main australia for for most of you guys it will be usa this is just because i'm in australia at the moment and then um we got international so all of these stores are active now that means we can sell in all of these countries new zealand united kingdom and united states those are the main ones you can also add more market in here if you like um you don't have to but again uh you can if if you wish to so the main important thing are um like canada usa uk which we've already added in here so that is uh your website done so now 
what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start advertising so this is where the fun part begins what that means is we have to create and activate our business accounts on Facebook and TikTok. main particular platform that we're gonna advertise this to is on TikTok. so that's what we're gonna be connecting our store to but you guys can also connect it to other platforms but for this video, we are we are going to connect this to TikTok. So in order for us to do that, we're going to go to business.tiktok.com. Uh, it's going to look like this uh, once you have signed up. And then all you have to do is create new. But since I already have one in here, we're just going to click uh, this one here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to create advertiser account. So we are going to be doing that. Create new. Next. And then you're going to fill all of this up. So I'm just going to fill this up. But the most important thing in here is uh, the place of registration. This is really important because with TikTok, you can't advertise to all of the countries unless you have an agency account. Uh, but for this, since we're going to be targeting USA, we're going to go place of re registration in USA. All right, once you have completed that, it's going to go under review. It does take a little wee while and you might get disabled at first, but that's just them. Uh, making sure that you have like ID and proof which you can easily send to them. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to click go to account settings. We're going to set up the pixel. The pixel is very important. This is an essential for your store so that you can start tracking all the activities that happens on your website. For example, if someone uh, clicks on your ad, goes to your website, the pixel will start tracking that. If they click add to cart, the pixel will track that. And even throughout your whole funnel, initiate checkout and purchasing for your on your website, they will track that on the pixel. And that's how pretty much TikTok uh, identifies that there's activities on your website, which is really important when you are scaling. You can't run blind. So the next step of installing the pixel is very crucial. Make sure you guys follow this. In here, uh, we're going to click assets and then events. We know web events, click manage, and then we're going to go create pixel. Name this your store. Then we're going to go events API, click next, automatically set up. And then Actually, you're going to go manual setup. Awesome. You're going to go copy pixel code. Go to settings. Okay, so we have Snuggle plug in here. So we're going to go back to our Shopify. You're going to click sales channel in here. And then hit tech talk here. I'm going to add this app. Okay, add sales channel. Okay, now we're going to set up our TikTok here. Connect our TikTok for business. Hit connect. We're going to go, this is the store that we created. So we're going to click that one. Hit maximum for that. Okay, hit confirm, We've got the pixel in here. And then finish setup. Your ad account is under review. This normally takes up to 24 hours, which is pretty normal. You might see some disable in there. You just have to provide your ID again. Now the most important thing has been installed. That's TikTok. We are going to go move on to the next step, which is creating the creatives. Now I have done a video on this already. If you haven't, Make sure you go ahead and watch that. We're not going to go too much in detail into how to create creatives because again, I have done a video on that. But uh, for this purpose of this video, I've gotten my video editor on my team to create a video for us, particularly for this product and for this um, YouTube video. So we are going to be using that. But before that, I'm going to be explaining uh, the elements inside a video creative and what makes a good um, video creative successful. Also, 
if you guys want access to my video editor and you guys want some creatives done for your store, we are going to be running some sale. This is the first time I'm opening up my team, my personal team, who uh, we have our own creative director who does our scripts, our video editor, and making sure that we are going to be creating a good video creatives for you. So if you want access to that, go to our Discord group. There is going to be a section in there where you can uh, request for some videos. It's going to be on sale right now. It's going to be the cheapest and the highest quality uh, videos out there as possible for drop shipping products. Go to our Discord group, request uh, your video ads in there. Right now, we I'm going to be explaining to you guys what makes a good uh, video creative. Uh, if you're not sure how to create the videos yourself, again, you can watch a video which I have done uh, a couple of videos before this one. So. Right now, we're gonna open up the videos that uh, we received from my video editor. All right, All right so, so these, these are, are the three, three videos, videos that, that we created. created. So, so normally, normally when, when we test, test if we are on a budget, budget we are we gonna, gonna be creating, creating three, three videos, videos but, but the, the only difference there is that, that the first five, five seconds will be different, different which is what, what you call a uh, hook. hook. So, so now, now I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what makes, makes a good, good uh, creative. creative. The first thing that you, you need to take note, note is you need, need to get UGC clips. clips. So that's, so that's user generated content. This is when people like for example, on uh, TikTok, uh, TikTok or, or maybe, maybe Instagram, Instagram you see, see them, them talking, talking about, about product, product that's, that's what you call UGC. UGC. Okay? Okay? This, this is just, is normal, just people normal people or influencers, influencers talking, about talking about the product, about the product reviewing, reviewing the product. product. That's what you call UGC. UGC. That's, that's what's, what's converting, converting right, right, right now. That's, that's why it's why very, very important, important, important that you that guys, you guys uh, start, start using, using those clips. So here, we got the hook here, so we got the product. Right? right, super, super, super discreet. discreet. So, that's so that's one of one the angles that we had, had inside, inside our, uh, our, uh, our product, product page. page. You, you, you can hear, hear in there, in there that, that, you know, you know uh, uh, there's a lot there's of DGG usage, usage in, in here and, here and mainly, mainly focusing, focusing on the benefits. Our noises are like gone. It was like peaceful. Right, right. So that's, so that's getting, getting the emotion. So, so it's not it's about, not about uh, saying, saying, talking about, talking about the features, the features of the product. product. It's about, it's about how, how, how best you can, you can explain, explain from a video, from a video on how on you can, how you can uh, make, their, make lives their lives a lot, a lot better. better. And soothing, and I didn't feel as anxious or anything. I'm going to it's also, it's good also good to put, to put some, testimonials some testimonials in there and, there and some social, social proof. proof. Very, Very important. important. That's, That's what, what makes, makes a good, good uh, high-converting high converting video, video creatives. creatives. There we go. There we go. And we got, and the, we got CTA the CTA in here, in here as, well. as well. Now, again, now, again this, is this is a quick, quick one that my video, video editor, editor did. did. Usually, usually, we have better, better, better quality, quality than, than this, but for, for, for the purpose of this video, we are going to be sticking, sticking with this. With this. Normally, Normally, we'd love, we'd love to, have to have about 20, 20 to 40 seconds, seconds uh, length, uh, length of, of the video. video. And we also, we also want to make it vertical. So what vertical means is that it's perfect for a TikTok platform, right? So for the vertical, you want to have that as 9 by 16 as the dimension size. And that's and very important, important because, because um, um, you don't want, you don't want to, to have different, different dimension, dimension sizes, sizes in there because it's not going to cover the whole video, video once, once they start, start watching it on their phone. Their phone. So hence so why hence we have, this, why we have this vertical type of video. Of video. So, video. Now that, so now that um, um, we have this we have video, this, video, we can also have a look at some of the hooks. The hooks. That's a different, That's a different person. person. So again, again, it's the same video, but the first five seconds is different. different a different person. Right, right. We can have a look at another one. Another one. It's very similar, very similar to the first, to one. The first one, but, but different, again, hook. different hook. Right, so right. We have so we have different, hooks different in hooks here. In here. Um, um, what we what are going, we are to, be going doing to be doing, doing now that we have creatives, creatives go is go to, to TikTok. TikTok. Now, this is now this is my testing, my testing method. method. It's, it's a solid proof. Solid proof. Uh, it's worked uh, for us for multiple years now, and this is probably the best way you can test your creatives on TikTok. If you just go you just go assets. Creatives. creatives we are going to be are going to be uploading all the videos, all the videos that we, that we uh, made. Uh, made we got three we videos three in videos here. in here hit upload hit upload 
So once, so that's, once uploaded, that's uploaded, we're going to start creating, creating our, our first, first uh, TikTok, TikTok campaign. campaign. Um, um, and this is and this is my my testing method, testing that, I'm method that I'm going to be showing to you guys. To you guys. So wait for that, wait to, for load that to load up. So that's all loaded up. We're going to hit confirm in here. We have three videos in here. Go to campaign. Okay. And now we're going to be creating our first campaign. So we just want to hit create. Custom mode. And in here, we're going to go website conversions. We want to select website conversions, right? Because what you want to do is you want to tell TikTok, okay, I want pe I want you to find people that are most likely going to buy this product. So here we got website conversion, campaign name. We're going to name this CBO. We're going to put dash. We put the product name, snuggle plug dash and then the countries that we are going to be targeting. So for this, we're going to go USA and Canada. We're going to click campaign budget, actually campaign budget optimization, which is pretty much what CBO is. So what that means is that uh, the budget is on the campaign level. So we're going to feed it $50. You guys going to have a better uh, view of this later on once we have set this up, which I can explain better. Uh, what the CBO means. So we're right now we're just gonna continue. We got the fifty dollar budget in here because that is the minimum. So in here, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is the product name, snuggle plug. Um, we're gonna hit broad. So what broad means is that there's no not gonna be any targeting unless you have um, a, a specific niche that you really want to target we can actually edit that on to the uh, the ad group so we're, right now we're on the ad group level there's three levels we got campaign we got the ad group level and the ad level which is where we're going to put our video creatives under ad group is where we do uh, we changes we change our demographics uh, do our interest targeting if we want to interest a particular niche um, and also age, gender, all of that stuff. This is what, uh, this is where we can change that inside the ad group. So here we're gonna go broad because right now you have to identify, okay, is there specific um, interest or niche that we're targeting? If the answer is no, we're gonna click broad. That means we're gonna try target it to everyone. And there's no specific gender. And for this particular product, I don't see it uh, selling under 25 years old. So we're going to go 25 years old and up. Um, again, you have to identify what your product uh, market is. If it is targeting just particular women, if you, for example, in the beauty niche, then just target a uh, woman. But right now, we're just going to go open. Um, we're going to go 25 plus as the age. And then we're going to hit add one. Uh, add one means that whatever uh, ad or creative that you're putting inside this ad group, that's what you're going to put in here. We have three ads. So we're going to have add one for one of the ad group. Then we're going to duplicate that to add two and then have another one, which means in total, we're going to have three ad groups created, which I'll show you shortly. So here we got TikTok pixel. We're going to hit that one, which we recently installed, right? Optimization event is very important. We're going to go complete payment. The reason why is we don't want to put all of those stuff because we want TikTok to find people who have completed payment or purchasers is what they call it uh, inside their platform. If you click, uh, for example, view content, TikTok is only going to find people who likes to view particular product, but not particularly buy the product, right? Hence why we want to uh, ask TikTok to uh, look for buyers, um, look for purchasers. We just want to scroll down, select placement. We're going to untick Pango. Uh, we just want TikTok. So we're going to untick all of these, right? Untick all of those. So right now, um, we're going to click automated creative op optimization. Okay. So here we're going to go USA and Canada. Uh, now we can select the locations. Gender, uh, we're going to go all. Again, uh, broad targeting, open targeting. Um, 
like I said, we can normally, I would go from 18 or over, really depends on the product. If it's uh, targeting towards uh, younger audiences, you can do that, but the minimum is 18 or over. For this particular product, um, we've done most of our research, most of uh, the buyers that I can see would go 25 or up. So we're gonna go 25 years old and up, select those. Here under audiences, we don't have to change anything in here. Uh, for interests and behaviors, like I said before, this is where we're gonna start targeting people. But in this case, for this particular product, we're not targeting anyone. But if you have a particular product, for example, in the pet niche, you can go search, search pet, and you can start targeting those people that are interested in the pet niche. So this is where you start uh, targeting people uh, or you know, there's beauty and personal care. So there's a lot of niches in there or interests in there that you guys can target. Um, it is very powerful, but in this case, we're not targeting anyone uh, specifically. We're targeting real broad. So we're gonna leave everything uh, blank in here. For the schedule, we're gonna um, schedule this for the next day, midnight. So we're gonna hit five, change this to zero, zero, midnight change the time and click OK and sp select specific time. So what this means is that we just want our ads to go um, be active in a specific time and we don't want to go from uh, midnight up to uh, 5 a.m. So we want to start this, uh, start delivering our ads to people at 6 a.m. up to midnight. So we want to do that and then we want to hit next. We don't need to change anything here. Awesome, now um, right here, we wanna hit this logo, uh, logo sign in here. We're gonna add our logo in here. Okay, remember I asked you guys to, remember I got you guys to download two logos. So now um, we can finally use the blue background, which means it's gonna look more popping, right? If we just put the white background in there, it's gonna look a lot boring. So here, uh, display name will be snuggle plug and then we're gonna upload add one first from library since we have uploaded this already. So we got that one. And then for ad tech, so here, there are a couple of things that I like to do in here. First of all, uh, whatever your sale is or offer, whether it's, uh, whether if it's 50% off, but in this case, we got buy one, get one free today, limited time, right? And then the next one, I would say 50% off today, um, free shipping, limited time, right? You can add another text in here, but I like to just keep two texts in here. We're gonna put the URL here as well, which is um, our product URL. If you don't know how to get that, we're gonna go back to our Shopify, click products, open our product and click view. So this is our URL in here. Uh, we're gonna copy that go back to our TikTok and we're gonna paste that in there. And that is pretty much your first ad done. We're gonna click submit. We're not finished yet because we have two other ads that we are going to be um, putting in. So here, like I said before, account not approved. So remember um, before uh, I told you that you might get uh, disapproved in here on your account, you just have to simply provide them your ID. Unfortunately, we might have to wait for, for a wee while because again, uh, your campaign will be submitted for review. Once our account has been approved, we can um, pretty much duplicate the other two ad groups. So while we're waiting, we are gonna be editing our columns. So go back to um, our dashboard and click campaigns, right? And then what we're gonna be doing is, is hit def default columns, custom columns. We're gonna delete all of these from, we're gonna leave ba budget in here, another budget there, and then pretty much uh, remove that. We're gonna have CPC, CPM, remove all of those. We click C leave CTR, and then pretty much remove that. We got CVR results. So here we have these six columns in here, and then hit page event. We're gonna go view content total. And then we also wanna add in here, 
add to cart initiate checkout complete payment cost total value and then complete payment row as so this is what it's gonna look like we're gonna drag down CVR to the last bit Save. Let's, so let's say your account, account has been, been approved, approved and we're ready, ready to continue, continue running, running our, our um, campaign. campaign. So we're so going to click, click that, that uh, campaign. campaign. So we've got three levels in here. We've got campaign, campaign, ad groups, and the ad level. level. So, so the next, next thing we want to do is we want to copy this twice. twice. I'm going to click name this ad two, two and add three. three. Just this one so it looks clean. And copy. So, so now, now simply, simply we're gonna, gonna go, go hit, hit continue, continue to ads bottom, bottom right, right corner. corner. So now, now we're on the ad, ad level. level. So, so now, now we're gonna be selecting, selecting the other, other two ads, ads and then, then delete, delete this one. one. So we got, so got 1.2 in, in there, and then the and then other, other ad. ad. Delete. Now, now we have successfully added, added our three ads, ads in here. Now, now it depends, depends how many ads, ads you guys, guys are testing, but in, in this particular, particular example, we are testing, testing three different, different ads. ads. We now, we now just have to hit publish, publish in the bottom, bottom right, right corner, corner here. here. That is that creating, is creating the, the ad. Wait for wait that to load, load up. up. That back, back to campaigns. campaigns. So let me so let me quickly explain, explain to you guys oh, the three, the three levels. levels. So we got, so we got uh, campaigns, campaigns where everything, everything is pretty much, pretty much nest, nest around. around. So what that so what means, that means is, is once you create a campaign, campaign um, especially, especially if you're using, using CBO, uh, which, uh, which is campaign, campaign budget, budget optimization, you can edit, you can edit the budget in here. here. Now inside, now inside a, campaign, a campaign, you have your ad groups. Remember, remember ad groups where you where you do your targeting, age, gender, countries, and also interests. And then and your, then your ad, ad level, level. So, if so if we click one of the one ad, ad in here, in here you, are gonna you are gonna see your ads, ads in here. In here. This, this is where you can, where you can edit the edit copies, of the, copies of, the of the ads and the edits. We don't, don't want to do any edit, edit, edit. edit. The, the first, first two days, we're just gonna leave it behind. And if and we, if we uh, uh, just scroll down here, you can see the CPC, the CPM. All of these metrics are really important. The most important when identifying if an ad is working is the CPC. Um, because, because that identifies that, identifies that people, that people are, are clicking on this. On this. CPC stands, stands for cost, cost per click. click. How much, How is, much it is it costing, costing for, for someone, someone to click, to click onto on our, our ad into our, our website? website. So, so the target, the target there, there is under, is under a dollar, a dollar USD. USD. Okay, you, okay, have, to you have to remember that. that. And then. And then the next, the next thing is, thing is the, the, we, we are going, going to see, see all, all of the other, other stuff, stuff such as um, um, add to cart, right? right? That's very, That's very important. important. People that People are, that are uh, uh, visiting, visiting our website, our website. Uh, if they add, uh, they to, add cart, to cart, if they, if they initiate, initiate checkout, checkout, and cost and per purchase. purchase. So those, so those are, are all important metrics, metrics that you guys, that you guys will have to look at. But I didn't find that if the ads are working, really, really, really just going into the CBC. Target again is to have at least, at least a dollar, dollar or under, or under uh, cost, cost per click. click. That's, pretty so that's pretty much it, guys. Once you start, once you start getting, getting sales, you can simply fulfill it all on AliExpress. AliExpress. Um, I, do um, I do have a private, private agent. agent. Once you guys, once you guys are, are selling up to 5 to 10, five to 10 products, products or orders per day already, per day hit, me up. hit me up. I'll give you guys, uh, guys uh, access, access to my private, to my private agent. They have the best shipping time and also the cheapest product price out there. So make sure to hit me up once you start selling some uh, products. Uh, products once you start once you start getting, getting orders, orders again if again, you guys, guys want to win, win this particular, this particular store, store here, here uh, be giving, i will be giving this this out for, out free. for free it's going to be about a week notice, notice. Um, and i'm going to be um, announcing, gonna be announcing it on, my it on my discord if you want to participate, participate in here go to my discord there's going to be a couple of requirements, requirements in there which will take less than less than five to five minutes of your time time and then and then you are going to be you are going to be in the draw to winning this store here here i can I can guide you guide the first couple, first couple of days, days as well, as well on how, on how you can uh, continuously, uh, continuously improve, improve this store this going, going forward. forward. Same time, At the same you time, just, just feel free to, free to uh, join, the uh, join the community and, and, hang, out and with hang out other with people. other people who are in the same space as you. Uh, go ahead and join the Discord group. Everything is going to be in there. All the resources that we talked about today is going to be in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is probably one of the best videos uh, out there in terms of a complete free guide or free course when uh, running your dropshipping store. We want to create a long-term branded dropshipping store 
none of those uh, crappy drop shipping store that you are seeing out there um, or that you are hearing out there so we don't want that uh, I wish you guys success if you want access to me go join our discord group I'm uh, pretty active there uh, still quite new so we want to uh, build this community where people can ask questions comfortably and get answers from experts as well so I'll see you guys there